Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you, Henry? Fine, and you? Good, good, I'm doing okay. How was your day? Uh, I'm very tired. Okay. Because I was, uh, I was working in my house. Okay, what were you doing? I a uh, TV host. I'm TV host, so I uh, I recording the TV program in my house. Okay. Do you work for a specific channel? Do you? Can you hear me, Henry? Hello? Yes, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, I, I was asking you if uh, if you were for a specific channel. Yes, 12 channels. Oh. I work in a program uh, El Salvador. Oh, okay. So you know Arturo Navas? Yes, this is my boss. He is my boss. Oh, okay. Eduardo, Eduardo Arturo, I think is his name. Um, we grew up in the same neighborhood when we were children. Ah, oh, where? Uh, near downtown San Salvador, near Parque Bolivar. Ah, yeah. Okay. So tell him I say hello when you see him. Okay. I try to call you tomorrow. Yeah. Do you see him every day? No. Uh, because uh, he goes to the the channel, and I work in my house. Okay, all right. Well, tell him Francisco Marroquin says hello. Okay. All right, okay. good. Hello, Albi and Victor. Hello, teacher. Who are you? Fine. How are you? Fine, thanks. How was your day? It was relaxed. Okay. I only was in, uh, in two meetings with my boss. Okay. And, and the meeting was uh, in the morning or in the afternoon? In the noon at 2 p.m. All right. Good. Was it a long meeting? Okay, good. Around one work. All right. Yeah. Now, when you are um, in the regular season without this emergency, how frequent do you have meetings? Um, once a month with the church. Okay, once a month. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, good. All right, um, welcome back everybody. I hope you had a... Thank you teacher, good evening everyone. Good evening Gloria. So good I good hope good that you guys good had a... Good evening. You guys had a good relaxing day. What's today's date? I don't know. <laughs> you lost track of time. <laughs> it happens fourth. sometimes. Hi, good evening. Yes. Hello, good evening. <laughs> yeah, it's the fourth, June 4th. June 4th. 4th, yes. Imagine we're in the middle of the year. You know, it's, it's uh, time uh, goes fast, uh, especially. So fast. So yes. And, and I don't think people, well, in my case, I'm not paying attention to time because, you know, like every day is the same, every day is the same. 
so I don't really pay attention if it's a, uh, the date, you know, but as you see, you see, my goodness, we're in the middle of the year. But anyway, so today is June 4th. Uh, remember that Fridays, we don't have classes. We only have classes four days a week, and that is from Monday to Thursday. So today is our last day Thursday. of the week. So, uh, so before we start with the first activity, uh, what did we talk about yesterday? What was the topic? We talk about asking, ask for something with can, cold, and would you mind? Exactly. Very good. We discussed and we mentioned that if you want to sound polite or if you don't know the person and you want to sound really good, uh, and you need something, it's always good to use models like, can you, could you, would you mind, do you mind? And of course, we need to include the magic words. You, If you need something, you, you should say, please. Yes. Can you give me an example of a request using could, can, or would you mind? Anybody? Can you turn the can you turn the stereo off? Okay, good. Imagine it's eleven p.m. and you want to go to sleep, and someone is listening to the stereo. So you tell them, "Can you please turn the stereo off?" Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, other yes. examples, class. Would you mind visiting morning? Okay, would you mind? Visiting. Uh -huh. Visiting morning. Visiting me in the morning. Yes, visiting me in good. the morning. Good, good. So let's say you are arranging with a person. Okay, so when can we meet? Okay, let's do it on, on Saturday. And then Gloria makes the question, would you mind visiting me in the morning? Because she prefers to be visited in the morning. So the other person says, sure, I'll be there. What time in the morning? Any other examples? Anybody else? Would you mind opening the door, please? Yeah. Imagine you're carrying something and your hands, the two hands are busy and you need help to open the door. So you would ask someone to uh, that question. Very good. Any other examples? No. Okay, you, so. Uh, you mind? Uh, hello? Yeah, mm -hmm. we hear you. Uh, do you mind? Uh, taking care of the baby uh, tomorrow. Okay, good, good. That's a good one too. Anybody else? Uh, 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 a favor you yes. would ask yes. someone in your house? Yes. Anybody? No. Okay, so um, like I was telling you a few yes. minutes. Yes, tell us. Okay, I want to say a phrase that uh, I use with my family uh, this time. Okay. Um, would you mind? Uh, would you mind not? Would you mind not using the Wi-Fi when I have the internet? Exactly. Yeah. Would you mind not using Wi-Fi while I'm connected while I'm taking the class? That that's a good suggestion. Yes. Nice. Good. Very good. Any other examples that anybody else wants to share? Okay, so like I told you a few minutes before, you know, every day is basically the same. Um, some of you guys are doing home office, you're working from your house. Uh, some of you guys maybe need to physically visit um, your office maybe twice a week or every other day, uh, I don't know. So you have Friday, Saturday, 
Sunday, and Monday until we meet again. So I will ask you to work in pairs and you will tell your friend if you have any plans in particular for this coming weekend. Maybe you are expecting someone to come to your house. Maybe you're planning to go somewhere. Maybe you have to work. I don't know. Uh, but before we start, when we talk about future plans, what part of the language do you use? What is the structure you use when you talk about future yeah. plans? Will is one, very good. Will, going, to, going, to. To. going, going to. to. What else, very good. What else can you, uh, what other structures can you use when you are talking about future plans? What is it? Uh, so, somebody said something? Um, will, the okay. auxiliary will, teacher? Yes, will, going to. Any other options besides those two? Okay, have you heard about future perfect? Okay, do, do you remember how many tenses we have? Okay, we have 12 tenses. Um, when we talk about future plans, you usually use will or going to. But if you are, um, if you're talking about, uh, let's say, finished activities, you would have to use future perfect. But we'll talk about that later. So um, I'm going to assign you in pairs, and the question is going to be very simple. You're going to ask your friend, what plans do you have for this weekend? And you start talking in future. Are the instructions clear? Yes. All right. So let's do this. Yes, uh, I, I have a problem. Well, okay, who was who was talking? No? Everything is okay? All right, so let's do this. Here we go. I have a problem to listen to you. Okay, uh, have you checked your earphones, uh, Henry? Yes, it's okay. You, your headphones are okay. I listen other person. I listen other person, not you. Okay. Um, thank you. Um, that's uh, something that uh, when when we are connected to the class, um, it is everybody's um, responsibility to find a place where there is not going to be any noise or someone else talking. So we keep it. Um, to the best possible. All right, so here we go. And the the office is uh, Carter Puerto too. 
near for typical smart god. Yeah. <laughs> so we are close. <laughs> word, but I am word uh, home office because I, I don't uh, go into my office only in, in my house. I clean my house, my bedroom. I will watch my clothes <laughs> and, and what about you? Um, maybe I'm going to watch Netflix uh, in the weekend and I stay with family. I uh, and maybe I'm going to go shopping to the supermarket. Wow. Uh, yeah, I think only that. I, I want to rest. <laughs> okay. Uh... Okay, in my case, I will, I will cook a pizza. Okay, okay. You like um, cooking? Cooking. You like cooking? I, I, okay, yeah. I like cooking. Good. Uh, I don't like cooking. You don't like cooking? <laughs> no, I don't like. Okay. <laughs> so who cooks in your house? Um, I or my husband too. <laughs> okay. Both. <laughs> so you, you take turns. Uh, yes, yes, yes. All right, good. We can. How much time you have in this situation? It, I, that you you can't see your parents since the cooking start uh, no, more or less right yeah we're we're coming to the to the fourth i think i don't know it. <laughs> okay thank you you guys finished talking All right, um, any questions or comments about uh, what your plans are for the weekend? Teacher, we don't have any plans, only stay at home. Okay, yeah. <laughs> sleep and eat. eat okay. And sleep. All right. That's it. Yeah. Teacher, yeah. <laughs> okay. I would like I, to play. Isaac. We we are we are in Ben, really. <laughs> we, so I will go to the beach this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you live in 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 the coast part of the country, you know, that's easy to to believe. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So. Uh -huh. All right. But with the with this weather, maybe not. No. Right. Yeah. It's it's not a good idea to go um places no. yeah. like the beach yes. with, with no. weather like this. I, <laughs> yep. All right. I, I work for today to Saturday and Sunday. I going to sleep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like you know, like before the emergency happened. You know, I literally, I was counting the days for Semana Santa to arrive because I needed to rest. But vacation came before, you know, it came like two or three weeks before. So, and and I'm still resting, you know, so, but I, 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 I sleep well mostly every day. So I thank God. 
So <laughs> anyways, so we spoke about two part verbs. Do you remember what we mentioned about two part verbs um, early in the week? What is the other name for two part verbs? Phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs, yes. And okay. what happens when you change the particle or the preposition to the verb? The meaning. The meaning changes. Yes, the meaning changes. The meaning changes. Yes. And what did we say about a. Uh, change. Hold on. What did we say about the pronunciation of, of phrasal verbs? We mentioned something about the stress. Who remembers we, that okay. part? Yes, we talk about the stress of the, of the... Okay, so when, when you're talk using... talk about the stress of the words. Okay, so where is the stress? When you're using phrasal verbs, is the stress in the verb mm -hmm. or is it in the preposition? Um. Or the are they the same in both? Yes. In the same. Yeah, the two parts are pronounced exactly the same. So they were That's making the they, they were making emphasis that uh, when you're using phrasal verbs, the intonation goes equally divided. So the verb and the particle they are pronounced exactly the same way. There is no no stress okay. whatsoever. So um, okay. let's see this here. Okay. So this is a little quiz related with phrasal verbs. Um, do you see the first question? Okay, do you see the screen now? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So first question, you know, every question gives you three options. So the first one says, would you blank my dog for me this weekend? What would be the best answer for that one too? For number one. Luke, would you look? Uh, look, look after or look up? Look up. Are you sure? Okay, let's put look up. Okay, what about number two? My neighbor. My neighbor and. Ran out of eggs. Ran out of eggs yesterday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Remember that phrasal, phrasal verbs can have three parts. Like, and this is a clear example run out of. Okay, how do you say run out of in Spanish? Se acabo. Exactly. Okay, what about number three? What do we have for number three? John mm -hmm. blank his leg at the baseball game. Broke off. Broke off. Okay. Broke off. Okay. Broke off. Okay. Broke off his leg. Okay, remember we have broke, we have okay, broke down, so. or we have broke off. Okay, let's check number four. Our boss blank our meeting until next week. Put off. Put off. Put off. What's the meaning put of put off? put off? What is put off? Yes, good, good. Okay, what about number five? Could you blank the music while I'm on the phone? Turn off the music. Okay, so you said one, two, or three. So you're saying the second one. Number two. Okay. Yes. Now remember. Uh, because it's a quiz, you know, we get three options, but we're supposed to choose only one. If I don't choose the option that you are suggesting, because sometimes you get different answers, just keep in mind the one you asked for, and we'll get, uh, when we get to the answers. What about number six? I don't blank my new science teacher. 
get up, get over, or get on with? Get on with. Get, up. get on with? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's check that one. And remember, if there is something you don't understand from the three options, feel free to ask. What about number seven? We both blank meeting your new girlfriend. Look up. Look up. Look up. Okay, so some people say look up, some people say look forward to. Okay, so we're gonna click on this one here. We'll see who's right. What about number eight? My car blank on the highway today. Broke off. Broke off? Broke off. Okay, let's click on broke off. Remember, if your suggestion is different, oh. Oh. Uh, keep it in mind or write it down. Uh, number nine, it will be easier to read if you... Break down. Switch on. Switch on. Switch on. Switch on. Switch on. Okay. Switch on. Switch and on. the last one is I have to blank to the finish line and back. Run away. So run away, run out of, or run? Run away. Run out. Run out of. Okay, do you remember the meaning of run out of? Yes. Okay, and, and, and uh, so does run, out. run away, run out of, or run? Run. So one, two, or three? Run out of. Three. Three. Three? three. Okay. Run. run. Okay, just run. So, okay, so we're going to check the answers. Your score. Do you see the answers? Your score is 70%. Uh huh. So, seven is your grade. The answers are here. So which ones are not good? Let's check. Check the, Would yeah. you, number one, you guys said, look up. And here we have, look after. Look, look after. Now, what's the meaning of look after? Yeah. Look after is like babysitting. So uh, let's say you tell your, your wife or your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, look, I'm going to downtown Santa Tecla. Please look after the dog while I'm away. So it means to take care of the animal, look after. So look after is the right answer. My neighbor ran out of eggs yesterday. Let's see the answer here. That is the correct answer. Number three, John, you guys said broke off. And the right one is broke. And this is a very clear example of how the meaning of the verb changes when you change the, um, the preposition. So break down means like my car broke down. It's not working anymore. So, can you hear me? Yes. 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 Oh, okay. So let me. Yes. All right. Um, what about number four? Our boss put off our meeting until next week. Put off, and the right answer is put off. So your answer was good. Number five, could you turn off the music while I'm on the phone? Turn off means to uh, eliminate the sound. So you guys, can, the, can you see the screen? In the screen. 
No. No, no. You don't see it. No, teacher. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. No. Can you see it now? Yes. 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 All right. Um, so then we said um, number six. I don't get on with my new science teacher. Get on with. What is the meaning of get on with? Relacionarse o. Yeah, like maybe he doesn't like the new teacher, so he says I don't get on with my new science teacher. Good. Number seven, we both look forward to meeting your new girlfriend. So that one is completely correct. Look forward to. Uh, number eight, my car broke down. When something stops working, you're supposed to say broke down. And um, number eight, broke down. Number nine, it will be easier to read if you switch on the lights. And the last one, I have to run to the finish line and back. Run is correct. All right, um, are there any questions about this quiz? No? No, no comments, no questions? Is everything clear? Can you hear me? Sorry, God. Yes. Can you hear us? Yeah, I hear you guys. Okay. All right. Um, any questions about this In quiz? Number eight. Uh, uh -huh. My car broke down. I'm sorry. I wait today. Hey, the difference between. For me, it's okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's... Okay. Somebody wanted to ask something. Yes, please. In the yeah, it's me. Broke away. Yeah. My car. The the right answer is broke down on the highway today. Break away means to separate. Okay. Uh huh. I'm um, sorry. I didn't yes. get the difference between broke off and broke down. Okay, break off is um, when you separate something physically speaking. It, it broke off. It broke off. When you separate something by accident or on purpose and broke down means when something stops working. Okay, got it. Yes. Any other questions or comments about the quiz? No? Okay, no. so we will change. Um, do you remember that we spoke about using models when you ask for something, when you need to ask for a favor? Do you remember that part? Yes. Okay, so I will show you. Can, this cool one here. and will. Okay, can, could, and would. Now, this one here, uh, they ask you to use could, but if you want to change it and use can or would you mind, that is, um, that is fine too. So let me find you guys, 8 to 9 p.m. It's right here. Uh, uh -huh. Let me see. So if you can take an, an image, a screenshot from the computer, go ahead and do it. If not, I just send it to the WhatsApp group. So you have 10 different exercises. Um, the, the worksheet gives you a statement, a situation. Um, so you need to ask for something according to the, what the person is going to do or where the person is going. So, um, I'm going to assign you to be working in pairs. Um, are the instructions clear? Yes. 
All right. So yes, let's see. We will. Ha, ha, ha. We have two, four, five, six. Um, room seven. Okay. So. Hold on. Alexander will be moved to room seven. Gloria, you will be moved to room seven. All right, and here we go. And uh, room five. Can you, Can you please send yes. me a letter? A letter number nine. I'm going to bed.
Yeah, because uh, it, it, it's very strange. It doesn't give me the option to to get to the others or to go to the main uh, uh, to the main session. Oh my goodness! Okay, so I need. But, to... but we are we are in the main session. Right, but the others I don't know where they are. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> They don't want to get back. Yeah, maybe they refuse to come back. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> let, 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 let me see if I can okay. find them. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. <laughs> 